Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. A man's style is his power. A man's style, like, and your style is a, your visual presentation. You know, you get a lot of guys caught up in just some physical looks, and yeah, that, that all that is is really the foundation. How do you style it? How do you wear your hair? How do you wear your beard? What type of clothes do you wear? How do you wear your clothes? and everything. That's a power though, because when a woman is looking at a man, she's looking at his overall presentation. Yeah, she's looking at his face, but she's looking at his body build, she's looking at his height, she's looking at his clothes, his jewelry, what does he have on, what's he wearing and everything. And you're gonna get different women depending on what you're wearing. You know, or, you know, is it class specific? Or is it like uh, what they you can wear around the neighborhood or something, because especially presentation, especially style, style is power. And see, the beauty of style is any man can create that, you know? Because you get some guys thinking, well, it's just the looks, it's just the looks, right? Look, and I'm gonna get into looks later this week anyway, but they thinking it's just the looks. And you notice these guys, they not really getting an opinion from a woman. Yeah, it's your looks, but then it's also what you do with your looks and stuff and then it's stuff you can control you can't control most of like you you can't control your height other than standing as tall as you can but yet you get some men who are under six feet still getting a woman or you can't control your basic bone structure you can't can really control that your bone structure your bone structure right and you can still work out and everything but you know you still won't have it like I knew this guy, like talking about bone structure, if you saw him from the neck up, he had a fat round face. But you saw the rest of the body, it's like boom. But that was his bone structure, right? But you can't really, you can only go so far with that. Just your pure physicality and see, let's be real, the guys who uh, focus on it, you know, they, they really don't know the game. Because the game really is, a your presentation, your style, everything. But depending on your style, you got control of which women gonna go for you. Like if, okay, say you wearing like, for lack of a better term, a more lower class style, hood, res, favela, uh, trailer park. Guess what type of women you gonna get? You gonna get women who like that style. You know, maybe a lot of lower class women, maybe a upper class women here and there who want to slum or who might actually came from that environment. They go and look at your clothing, your style. That's like a uniform. So they're going to look at it. They're going to look at your haircut. It's like, okay, what kind of haircut he got? You know, some women going to like it. Some women not going to like it. How you have your beard, if you even have facial hair. You get some women, they, even in this day and age, everybody talking about beard game, but you still get some women want a clean, clean shaven man. But you know, you get the power though. It's just like I said in my last sit down episode, you, you, uh, a woman can only use you if you allow it. Think about it think about it but you have the power of what type of women come your way will even try to use you you have the power like if you want more upper class women and everything well you got a dress you got what's the uniform most of them are clean cut and everything like if I'm out in a belt if I'm I can see some couples I can already look at them and tell a whole lot I'm looking, okay, how's the man dressed? Is he dressed preppy or is he dressed like he's from the hood? You know? Or is he dressing like he's a guy just working and everything? Like everything, what type of clothes, how they wear it, how they style their hair, all of that. Now, whether I can't, I can't tell what a woman sees a man's body, and quite frankly, I don't need to. But I can tell what she's like by the guy she's with in their body language. Because even if I see a couple out, but their body language says, doesn't say they're romantic, I'm like, okay. But if I see them out and they kind of hugged up, they walk in a certain way, I'm like, oh, okay. That's what she like. And see, since that's your power, 
You need to work on your style. You need to work on your style, your presentation. Like if you ain't getting women, yeah, you want to, you know, I still always going to promote body game, but what do I say? Body game is just a foundation. What kind of, how you wearing your hair? Now, seriously, how you cutting your hair? You getting, you know, you getting a nice little fade cut or, you know, you just letting it grow out. It was like you wearing locks or something, whatever your hairstyle is. That's going to draw a certain type of woman. That, hey, that's why I always say barbers are responsible for, responsible for the birth of more babies, right? You know, your beard. You know, like some women into beards, some are not. And even um, I know in certain communities, and I said this originally for the black community, but I'm seeing it increasingly with whites or in the area I live in. And keep in mind, it's a predominantly white area, but you get some guys, they got the head shaves and the beard. But they walking with some women. They walking hand in hand with some women. So it's like, okay, but that's a style. That might work for them, but it might not work for the next man. So you got to see, okay, what haircut works for you? Does facial hair work for you? What kind of clothes work for you? Are you looking like just some preppy guy? Or are you looking like you some, uh, you know, you a little more lower class? You know, even, even, even tats. Tats are a style. How you wear your tats, that's a style. You know, you got a power. You're going to draw a certain type of women. Because, yes, women choose, but men have to allow the choice. Men have to choose back, you know? And shout out Master TGBGS. He picked this up with me, like, when I first got on here, because I would change my style up, you know, depending on what I was talking about. It was like, oh, okay. And I've even had some people comment. They'll say, oh, I like you here. Or I like car rhyme better, or I like couch rhyme better. It's, all, it's always something. But what do I have? Different styles. That's just a presentation. Who I, you know, underneath still look the same. But y'all see me maybe in a nice shirt here, but just in some sweats when I'm driving. But that's, that's something, even when I go out, I can tell. Certain types of women, if I go out, happen to go out in a nice shirt, pants, got the watch on, bands on, Everything, even wearing the glasses, certain women will look my way. But then when I go out and I'm just wearing some sweats or something, whatever, certain other women would look my way. And I noticed, I noticed that. That's the thing. But you have control over that. That means you have control over which women are going to come your way. All you have to do, and it's a easy, anybody can do it. Go out, change your hair, change your haircut, you know. Maybe let your beard grow out or shave the beard. Change your style. If you're having trouble with women, change your style. Or you don't like the women you're getting, change your style. Change your style and then go to different places where the women that you might want might frequent and see how they respond. See how they respond because then what you're getting is a response from them. You using your style as a power to get responses from the women that you want. See, I want y'all to think about that, all right? It's your power. You have control over it. You have control over it, all right? You can wear whatever style that you want, all right? I want y'all to think about that, all right? Think about that. And yeah, let me say something real quick, because you get some guys thinking it don't matter. They don't have game. It matters a whole lot. It matters a whole lot, all right? So anyway, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.